time. I'm here to share my thoughts on PFAS Method 1633 at the York ALS Laboratory in Tom's River, New Jersey. The good folks in the laboratory here told me all about PFAS. It's a real threat to the health of future generations. PFAS is crazy strong. It's everywhere and it needs to be cleaned up. The science behind the newest detection method is spectacular. Here are my thoughts on this advancement in PFAS analysis. Method 537 and 537M examines over a dozen PFAS compounds in drinking water samples. Method 537.1 examines approximately 18 PFAS compounds in drinking water samples. Method 533 examines approximately 25 PFAS compounds also in just drinking water samples. 1633 examines approximately 40 PFAS compounds in a broader range of environmental samples. Surface water, groundwater, wastewater, leachate, soil, sediment, and biosolids. 1633 presents the most comprehensive method to identify these dangerous forever chemicals in complex environmental assessments. Now let's go inside method 1633 and show you the process from beginning sample prep to final analysis after the sample comes into the lab. After proper handling in the field and documentation by the login team, it all starts with the prep. York relies on Promochrom technologies to ensure that all PFAS samples compounds are completely isolated for analysis. Effective sample preparation enhances analytical sensitivity, precision, and data integrity. It removes interferences that mask PFAS and concentrates them for better detection. Without proper extraction, cleanup, and concentration, the final analysis simply won't be accurate. There are differences in how samples are prepped for analysis for soil and groundwater. Extraction techniques must efficiently isolate target PFAS compounds from the sample matrix while minimizing the co-extraction of interfering substances. Then, there is a sample cleanup process that ensures samples are analyzed without interferent substances. The solid phase extraction technology passes samples through a specialized cartridge that retains PFAS. Finally, the prepared sample extracts are ready for instrumental analysis using liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry, the LCMSMS. The powerful LCMS is the most dynamic technology tool for analyzing complex PFAS environmental samples due to its exceptional selectivity and sensitivity. Let's walk you through the process of PFAS analysis with the LCMS. Team York uses the latest Agilent 6495 triple quadrupole instrumentation. First, the prepared sample extract is injected into the LCMS system through a small vial. Second, liquid chromatography acts as a separation tool using a pressurized flow of mobile phase solvent that carries the sample mixture. The PFAS compounds interact differently, allowing for their separation. Third is ionization which separates PFAS compounds and converts PFAS molecules into ions. In first stage of mass spectrometry, ions enter the first stage and are separated so that only ions of the target PFAS compound pass through. During second stage of mass spectrometry, the PFAS compounds are further analyzed by specific fragments for their unique spectral fingerprint. The MS2 detector measures these fragments to identify and quantify the target PFAS compounds present. Now let's really go inside the LCMS technology for a spectacular look at the analysis. Ion injector capillary increases the amounts of ions entering, achieving a significant increase in ion sampling for a tenfold gain in signal intensity. With VacShield, the ion injector capillary can be easily removed without venting for increased uptime. The first ion funnel operates at high pressure, collects ions, and propels them forward. The second stage funnel operates at a lower pressure, tightly collimating the ion beam for further sample enrichment. An optimized octopole ion guide provides high efficiency ion transmission over a wide mass range. Newly engineered ion transfer optics increases precursor ion transmission for a higher sensitivity and precision. The first quadruple mass filter 
only allows ions of the target analyte to pass through to the collision cell. The second quadrupole serves as a mass filter for fragment ions produced in the collision cell. For quantitative analysis of a target compound, the second mass filter is operated in a selected ion monitoring mode for target fragment ions. Following the LCMS analysis, the York ALS team has the most comprehensive PFAS data to share with clients on the broadest range of environmental samples. Method 1633 is the current best answer for testing these ever-present PFAS in non-potable waters and solids. The York ALS team provides the fastest turnaround on PFAS analysis in the industry, with rush service available and centrally located laboratories and client service centers throughout the U.S. Contact the York ALS team to stay ahead of the curve on PFAS testing